What's going on everybody today? We are here at Phoenix Fan Fusion, the biggest Comic-Con that I know about in the Phoenix area. Today guys, we are looking for some Funko Pop Grails here at the convention. I'm also gonna be coming across anything that I find cool or interesting within, you know, the niches that I like. So come along with me guys and let's see if we can find some really cool Funko Pops. Here we go. All right, folks, I made my way to the main exhibitor hall. It took a little bit to get here. This place is absolutely nuts. It is packed. So I'm gonna walk around here, guys, kind of get a lay of the land, see if I can find any cool pops, and obviously anything else that you'll find at a convention that is interesting. Hmm, interesting. Well, folks, I suppose a giant wall of Funko Pops is probably a good place to start. And this is obviously what you're gonna see at a lot of cons that you go to, just giant, massive walls of Funko Pops. It could be a little bit overwhelming, but I'm sure we'll find a couple of cool things in here. Like you got an original Michelangelo. You also have a Michelangelo with a surfboard. That's really cool with the new movie that just came out, the Miles Morales, that's exclusive to Target. Ooh, that really cool FYE exclusive Jimi Hendrix is awesome. And probably one of the coolest chases that are out there, the Madam Min Dragon Chase. Came across this booth, Arizona Toy Con. I can see that they have some pretty decent stuff so let's dive in, see if we can find some grails. Starting off with this first case, guys, I do notice a couple of cool things. You guys know that I'm a big Bob's Burgers guy. These are ones that I already have in my collection, but Linda, Bob, and also Gene Belcher. Some other fun pieces like BoJack Horseman. You also have an original Panthro from the Thundercats. That's a cool one. You got some Steven Universe, Walking Dead, some of the pops from the Titanic movie. John Wick is an awesome one, also Jack Sparrow. In a good section of Marvel pops, guys, you're gonna see some good Spider-Man stuff a little bit of everything Marvel. Ooh, and some heavy hitter Spider-Man pops over here, guys. You have like the amazing Spider-Man, the Andrew Garfield one, and also Miles Morales that's kind of in like his hoodie, wearing his Jordans. That's an awesome one too. Right here, folks, it looks like we have a good section of DC pops and some really good grails, guys, like this Chase Batman, an original one. Also this SDCC Superman, that's cool. Original Martian Manhunter. Ooh, this one's a cool one too, guys. We have an original Emperor Zerg. Box is a little bit faded, but it's one that you don't see very often. And some really cool original TMNT with Rocksteady and also Bebop. They've got they've got some really awesome pops in here, guys. All right, over here at Triforce Collectibles, I noticed that they have a little bit of a valuable case right here. Honestly, I don't know if I've ever seen this one in person, guys. We have kind of the mini two-pack of Soli and Mike. Look like it's going for about 150 bucks. But yeah, that's definitely very unique. You don't see any of those mini Disney pops very often. That's kind of cool. An original Riddler. All right, that is one I don't think I've seen very often either. And then you also have have some more original TMNT with Splinter and Shredder. Oh, and also Russell, that's a cool one too. On this other side, guys, you have one of the Iron Man that's from Disneyland. I think it's from the California Adventure Marvel section. $400 Obi-Wan Kenobi, an original Star Wars pop. Some newer chases with like Killer Bee and also the Glow in the Dark Spider-Man. And down here, guys, looks like we have some cool ones too with like Zoidberg, Lapis, The Rock, and also Cartman with Clyde, not bad. Okay, folks, I actually decided to do in order, so we're starting back at 100. First booth that I came across right here is DMN Pops. Let's see what they got. Okay, so starting over on this side, guys, they have some grails in a case, and they also have some more common stuff, it looks like. Like the Asia Stan Lee is pretty cool. You have the grinning Ultron, and also Bullseye and the Spider-Man suit. That's not bad. But folks, take a look at some of the grails that they have. They have some really good stuff, like from Breaking, bad. We also have, oh, that's a cool one. I think this one was given out at WonderCon for those that attended the Funko panel. So we have Freddy Funko as Peter Pan. All right, what else do we have in here? We have Freddy Funko as the devil. That's an NFT pop. Some of the uh, Steve and Robin SDCC exclusives. Got the Punisher chase, which I think is probably one of the best chases that are out there. Oh, and we also have the black suit, symbiote suit, Spider-Man. Okay, okay, guys, check this out. We have the bloody chase of Leatherface. Check out that really cool sticker, guys. That is one, I think this is unique to this pop right here. That's awesome. And a couple of other heavy hitter pops down here, guys. We have the Martian from Mars Attacks. We got Loki, Freddy Funko is Doctor Strange. Ooh, those are cool. Pop back over here, guys. They've got some mega grails in here. They got almost the whole Coraline set, if I'm not mistaken. You got the bank robber Joker and 
Joker 2 pack. That's always a heavy hitter. Some really cool Freddy Funkos that are down there. Freddy Funko Spider-Man, Loki. What else we got? Ooh, we have a Flash Chase, some Sonic Pops. That's awesome. Coming back over here, guys, you have some Spider-Man Pops. Spider-Man is gonna be hot with the new movie that just came out this week, Across the Spider-Verse. Look, we have Peter Parker right there. We have the Miles Morales in the homemade suit. Also some newer ones from the newer movie that just came out, so those are awesome to see. Oh, and also some from the video game as well with Miles Morales and also Mary Jane. But some other fun grails that I found, guys, we got Dark Phoenix. You got Data from the Goonies, which is a good one because the actor that actually played Data actually just won an award, which is cool. Star Child, Soli, Supergirl, Catwoman, a bunch of the Conan Pops that are signed. Holy cow. Ooh, and also that Scooby-Doo 2 pack from FYE. That's a cool one too, but DMN Pops. You guys got a great booth. You know what's funny? I feel like every convention I go to, I see Wild Bill's soda. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's just a convention favorite. Kind of interesting that they show up at every different con. But you'll have to let me know if that's the case for other cons that you guys go to. Okay, folks, another awesome booth full of some great pops. We might be here for a second. Like they've got just like rows and rows of really good stuff. I, like I said, it, there might be a little bit that we need to dig through to find some of the stuff we're looking for. Okay, funny enough, guys, a set that I'm trying to complete is the Napoleon Dynamite set, and Deb is one that I need, so I might need to pick that one up today and see how much it is. So the other pops that I need on the set, guys, I just turned this Deb pop around. We need Kip right there, we need Pedro, and also Napoleon. Okay, folks, right behind me, guys, they have some really good pops right here. I'm gonna see if I can find any to highlight. They got some really good pops, guys, from Family Guy right there. You got Stewie, Brian, and also Ray Gun Stewie. Ooh, they got Dr. Eggman right there, guys, and they also have an original bumblebee those are fun to see but overall i think they have some really solid things in here guys there's a, there's a lot to look through duck dodgers is awesome original share con you got mermaid man lucy some digimon pops yeah guys just take a look at all the things that they have you know funny enough i was actually looking for this whole set a little bit ago but it looks like they have almost the entire set of pac-man pops with all of the ghosts i think actually they're just missing pac-man they got miss pac-man but not pac-man himself Okay guys, up front here, they have a good amount of chases. They also have an original Batman chase. That's epic. And they actually have a couple of other kind of heavy hitter pops and some grails over here. I'm gonna see if I can highlight a couple for you. Okay folks, a couple of the cool pops that I found in here, guys. We have like the Atom Bomb chase, which is awesome. We have an original Jack Sparrow. But dang, they have some really good pops in here. I think I'm gonna buy Deb from Napoleon Dynamite though. By the way, folks, I'm here with my friends from Pop Hunt Thrills. I'm here with Cesar and we're doing a challenge today as well. So if you guys wanna check out his channel as far as what we're doing for the challenge and everything like that. I already bought my pop. We're doing a $50 challenge. Definitely go and check that out. Okay, guys, I came across the booth that has like, it's selling some like swords and stuff, but they also have some random Funko Pops. I love coming across these kind of booths because we might be able to find some good deals. Like that one's actually pretty cool. I think actually price might be spot on with the Ricky Bobby right there for 40, but you can't have Ricky Bobby without Cal, not in junior guys. You can't have the shake and bake without Cal. So that's a cool one at 25. Shake and bake. What does that do? Does that blow your mind? Yeah, when you're at Comic-Con, guys, definitely be on the lookout for booths like this that only have a couple pops. You might be able to find a good deal. All right, another aisle, another booth. I'm gonna come in here and see if we can find some cool pops. So it looks like the deal at this booth, guys, is $15 for a pop or three for 40. And I didn't know, honestly, guys, that these ones had restocked. The Five Nights at Freddy's ones, if you look at the bottom right there, they actually have that updated blue barcode. So you have Nightmare Freddy and you also have Foxy Pirate and some other ones mixed in here. Okay, folks, a couple of interesting ones that I came across here. We have the Patrick for 15. I might actually have to buy that one. I don't have that one, but also they have the animated series Batman for 20. I know that they reprinted that one, so that's probably why it's cheaper, but we also have the Phantom. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. That's a cool one. Okay, I found some other ones in here that I found interesting, guys. I know some of the Sonic Pops have restocked, so for 15 bucks for Shadow and also Sonic with Emerald, both of those are some good grabs. Then also right here, guys, there is a giant chase wall. There are some pretty cool chases in here, like the Hercules chase, Dopey, and also the Gravity Falls chase is over there. All right, folks, I'm coming down aisle. I want to say it's like 600, 500. Found another cool aisle of pops right here. But honestly, whenever you guys come to a con, you are going to expect some higher prices. I do notice some Spider-Man ones up here, guys, like for 50 and 55. Yeah, those, those I think go for around like 30 or 35 actually, but I know it's to be expected when you're at a con like this. Like Roz is a really cool one, but I don't think I'd spend 50 on it. Regardless of price though, guys, there are some really good pieces in here, like from Smallville. Me and my wife have been watching Smallville, some reruns and stuff like that. So these pops are starting to go up in price and getting a little bit harder to find, but you got Clark Kent, Lex Luthor, Green Arrow, and also Lois Lane. I've actually gone up in price recently as well is the Godfather ones. Frito Corleone, Michael Corleone, Leon, 
It's crazy that that one's gone up in price that much. I walked down a little bit and they said this entire wall is pretty much $15. And I actually found a couple of hidden gems in here. I asked the price on this one, guys, and we have Mar from Hove Alone for only 15 bucks. I wanna say that that's like a 35 to $40 pop. So that's a pretty good deal. And I imagine this one as well. I'm not sure what price is on Odie, but I know it's a little bit of an older one, but for 15 bucks, that might be one that you can't pass up. Even though I have it in my collection, that's a good deal. Okay, folks, I found this booth that actually has some video games within it and also some really cool out of box pops, guys. As you can see, I think we may have found a pretty good deal. Do you see what I'm seeing right there? Billy from Son, I think that says it's only 10 bucks. I might have to pick that one up and maybe even the leather face. All right, folks, we are down in aisle number 900. I found another aisle of pops. I feel like I'm gonna find some good stuff in here. Like there's some fun ones up here, guys. You got Ralph Wiggum, The Witch from Snow White, Kurt Cobain, Michael Emerson, Red Hulk Chase, and also it looks like a King Candy signed. Interesting. I found this pop from Tekken guys, Jin Kazama. I know that that one's been going up in price. So I think 30 is actually a good deal on that. It's going for around, I wanna say like 50 to 60 bucks. Yeah, folks, this seems like one of those booths that everything's kind of mixed in with common and also exclusive and kind of more rare stuff. Like you got tigers from Kung Fu Panda and you also have Bee Squatch down there from Bob's Burgers. Looks like there's a clone Commander Cody that's hiding up there for a hundred bucks. You know, it's funny guys, I found the same Jim Kazama for $10 more. I don't know why it's a little bit more expensive over here, but interesting. Out of the aisle pop guys, I actually found one that I'm looking for today and that is Stormfly from How to Train Your Dragon 2. That's one of the dragons that I need for the set. So I think I'm gonna buy it today. But yeah, folks, overall, this booth had some really cool stuff. You kinda just had to hunt for things to look for stuff. But yeah, we're definitely picking up that Stormfly today. I'm happy that I found one from a set that I'm looking for. Okay, guys, I came across the booth. Their name is Nice Rice Designs, and they do all sorts of Bob's Burger stuff. Like, check this out, guys. They have a slave way of Bob. Oh my goodness. That's a cool Tina shirt right there. Guys, just check it out. There's all sorts of really cool Bob's Burgers inspired designs if you wanna check it out. There's some fun ones in here. All right, folks, as far as pops go, I'm getting towards the end of the exhibit hall. So I'm pretty sure we're about ready to wrap up unless there's some in these last two sections that I haven't found. I guess we'll have to see. Okay, folks, this might be one of the last booths that I can see that has pops. We still have one more aisle to go down, but I found a couple of fun ones in here, guys. We have the brand new Bullseye as John Hammond from Jurassic Park, so that's a fun one. And we also have the Lotso Disney Funko Vault, limited to 25,000 pieces. I don't know if I've ever seen that one in person. And then guys over here on this other side of the wall, I did notice this tiny Peanuts four pack, guys. This four pack is so interesting. I don't know, I might have to pick it up today depending on what price they have on that. That is one you don't see very often, but it's a really fun piece. Okay, I think I found one of the most unique Funko booths here at the con, guys. This is the original soda guy, and he has, what are you was saying, every single Funko soda, or at least a majority, for sale. Inventory of what's available for sale. If you guys wanna take a look right here, he has some really cool original ones. You got Barney Rubble, the Batman, Skeletor, He-Man, yeah, Merman, Trav Jaws. Oh my goodness, yeah, he has some good ones, guys. I can see some ones hidden in here as well. But guys, check this out. He has one of the NFT sodas right here with the Witch Doctor, some of the original serial characters that are Funko Shop exclusives. He was telling me the most rare soda that he has here is the Shira soda, at least here at the con. He said that he has the Freddy Funko social media one at home, but Dang, that is a rare one you don't see every day. Well, folks, as for me, I think I've walked around here enough to find all the pops that I've been looking for, at least all the grails that we wanted to see. So I think we're gonna call it here for a trip to Phoenix Fan Fusion. It's a good time. I'm excited to show you all the stuff that I picked up. All right, folks, I am back at home. Let me show you everything that I picked up from Phoenix Fan Fusion. So starting things off, we have these four out of box pops that I ended up picking up. It was all from that same booth and they ended up doing a deal. I think it was about $32 for all four of these. We got a really cool out of box Spider-Man 2099. This is the original Walgreens version, you know, with that like chunky original Funko mold and stance. So Spider-Man's really awesome, guys. We also have an original Chucky. He's got his knife right there. Originally, I thought I picked up the Hot Topic uh, bloody version, but this ends up just being the normal version. Still a decent pickup, guys. We also right here have Leatherface, which is a very unique pop and kind of an older one as well. There's some like crazy insane detail guys with like kind of the the folding or whatever of his mask that he's got right there and a little bit of blood on his chainsaw and the best one out of the lot guys we have billy from saw that 
<laughs> this is a crazy pop, guys. And I want to say that there's actually another version of this that's glow in the dark and that's bloody. So probably that one I would imagine is a lot more expensive. All four of these pops right here are going to be a part of my next auction. There's an auction coming up next week where I've got a bunch of other stuff, not just these out of box pops, but including this right here, guys, we have the original number one Thor. So like I said, these, this, and a bunch of other stuff are gonna be a part of that auction. If you wanna check it out, use the link down below. And if anybody that's a new user, you can get $10 off as well. Okay, and as for the rest of the pops that I got, we have three pops that I was looking for. We have Patrick, we have Depp from Napoleon Dynamite, and then we also have Stormfly from How to Train Your Dragon. So we can take a look at Patrick right here, guys. This is a part of the somewhat newer, I guess this came out, when did this come out? In 2019, SpongeBob line. And funny enough, I think they've actually reprinted these pops the way that you can tell, guys, is it has that new uh, blue barcode that's on the bottom right there from Funko. But hey, I do love me some SpongeBob Pops, and this was one that I definitely needed in my set. So this is going in my little uh, Nickelodeon shelf that I have over there. Next up, I got a great deal on this one too. It did have a little bit of like some window scuffing right here. They gave it to me for 15 bucks at that booth that I showed off. But this is Deb from Napoleon Dynamite. Fun fact guys, Napoleon Dynamite was actually filmed uh, where my dad grew up in Preston, Idaho. So it's always funny watching the movie with him and all the different locations that he knows. So this is kind of a set that I want to piece together, guys. We're missing the top three guys that are on the back right there. You got Pedro, Kip, and also Napoleon. And getting very closer, speaking of another set, guys, from How to Train Your Dragon, I ended up picking up Stormfly. These dragon pops, guys, that they have from this movie, the detail on these are awesome. And I believe with this one, guys, I am only missing two pops from this line. So I think it's Barf and Belch, the green dragon that's right there and also Astrid. But that's probably one of the most things about going to a convention like that. There's so many different pops and if there's a set that you're trying to complete, odds are that that's probably one of the best places to go to. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you been to a convention and looked for Funko Pops? If so, what was the convention that you went to? And obviously some pops that you picked up as well. But thank you guys so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.